welcome to another video. So today is part three of the presidential elections in United States history. Hopefully this is the last part. I'm sorry that it took like a couple months, but I um, finished this like a while ago in like May. So we were now at the 19, um, of course the 19, um, 20 election as we saw that Woodrow Wilson did get re-election. So now, after Woodrow Wilson, um, you know, he won against Charles Huggies, so now we're going to be at Warren G. Harding versus James Fox. So, so Warren G. Harding received 404 electoral votes. His vice president candidate was Kevin Coolidge, and he went against James Cox, whose vice president candidate was Franklin D. Roosevelt, and he received 127. So, of course, Republican and Democrat are on each side. Kevin Coolidge um, got re-election because of Warren G. Harding, Warren G. Harding died in 1923, so he got re-election. He went against Charles, uh, John W. Davis. Uh, Kevin Coolidge's vice president was Charles J. Don, G. Dons, and uh, John Davis's was um, Charles W. Bryan. Coolidge received 382, and Davis received 136. Herbert Hoover went against Al Smith. He received 144 electoral votes compared to Al Smith's uh, 87 electoral votes. Hoover's vice president candidate was Charles Curtis, and Smith's was Joseph T. Robinson. Now, on the 1932 election, of course, um, Hoover ran for re-election, but of course, uh, uh, failed. He went against Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, Hoover received 59 electoral votes due to the Wall Street crash, and his vice president candidate was still Charles Curtis. Roosevelt received 472 electoral votes, and his vice president candidate this time was John, this first time was John Nath Carter. Roosevelt ran for re-election again. He was successful. His vice president was the same. He received 523 electoral votes. He went against Alf Landon, who, vice president candidate Frank Knox. He received eight, yes, eight electoral votes. That is the least amount of electoral votes ever in American history, so... Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt went for a third term, it's, and his vice president was different this time. It was Henry A. Wallace. This time he had 449 electoral votes, and he went against uh, Wendell Wookie, who still had the vice same vice president, Franklin Frank Knox. He was, he received 82 electoral votes. Franklin Roosevelt ran for a fourth term. Yes, he was the only president to run for four terms and ruled in two terms. So he was the, he had the longest term. He went against Thomas Dewey and Roosevelt's president vice president was Harry S. Truman this time. He received four hundred and thirty two, so he went last. Dewey um his vice president was John W. Bricker. He received ninety nine electoral votes that time. Dewey ran again against Harry S. Truman because Roosevelt died right after World War Two. Of course, you know, he was president during World War Two, so that was a uh, happening. Um, Truman's vice president was Alton W. Barkley. He received 303 electoral votes. And Dewey's vice president was Earl Warman. He received 189. So, Harry Truman became president in 1945 after Pre President Ro Roosevelt died. Dwight D. Eisenhower went against Elodie Stevenson. Dwight D. Eisenhower received 442 electoral votes, and his vice president was Richard M. Nixon. Elodie Stevenson's vice president was John Sar Sparksman, and he received 89 electoral Dwight D. Eisenhower went against Elias Stevenson a second time. Yes, a second time. Um, this time he received 457 electoral votes, and Elias Stevenson received 73, and he had a different vice president who was Estes Coover, I'm guessing. Richard M. Nixon went against John F. Kennedy. R Nixon received 219 electoral votes, while Kennedy received 203. Nixon's vice president candidate was Henry C. Lodge Jr., and Kennedy's was Lyndon B. Johnson. John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963, so his vice president took um, office, and now he was but he ran he won re-election. This his vice president was Herbert Humphrey. He received 486 electoral votes. He went against Barry Goldwater, who was vice president William E. Miller. He received only 52. Richard Nixon won again for a second time. He won against Herbert Humphrey, the vice president for Johnson. Uh, Nixon received 301 electoral votes. His vice president was Spiro Agnew. He was a Republican, and um, Edward Monks, he was Humphrey's um, vice president. He received 191, yeah. and George A. Wallace also ran with 46. Nixon went again, however, he received 520 with the same vice president. He went against George McGovern, who received 17 electoral votes, and his vice president was Thomas Eglinton. Gerald Ford, the vice president um, for Nixon, because um, Spear Agnew resigned, went against Jimmy Carter, 
His vice president was Bob Dole. He received 240 electoral votes, and Carter received 297. His vice president was Walter Mondale. Carter lost the 1980 election to Ronald Reagan, whose vice president was George H.W. Bush. He received 489 electoral votes, and Carter only received 49. Walter Mondale won against uh, Ronald Reagan. However, uh, Walter Mondale only received 13 electoral votes. His vice president was Geraldine Ferraro. Um, he received 500, uh, Reagan received 525, and you know George H.W. Bush was still uh, his vice president. George H.W. Bush won against Michael Dudekis. He received 426, and Dudekis received 111. His vice president was Dan Quayle, and his vice president was Lord Benson. Lloyd. George H.W. Bush lost re-election to Bill Clinton. He received 168, and Bill Clinton received 370. His vice president was Al Gore. Bob Dole was against, went to get against Bill Clinton, but Bill Clinton won re-election with 379 this time. However, Bob Dole only received 159. His vice president was still Dan Quayle, so they had the same vice president. George, H. George W. Bush won against Al Gore. However, it was a very close election, but George W. Bush won with 271 electoral votes to um, Gore's 266. His vice president was Dick Cheney, and his vice president was Joe, 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 Joe Lieberman. George W. Bush won against John Kerry. However, he was victorious once again. However, Kerry's vice president was John Edwards. With he received two hundred and fifty one, and Bush won more. He, he got two eighty six. John McCain went against Barack Obama. However, John McCain died did die in twenty uh, seventeen. His vice president was Sarah Palin. He received one hundred seventy three electoral votes, and Barack Obama's vice president was Joe Biden. He received three hundred and three electoral votes. Mitt Romney went against Barack Obama. However, he only received two hundred six electoral votes, and Obama got reelected with three hundred thirty two electoral votes. Romney's vice president candidate was Paul Ryan. And the last election we were looking at today was Donald Trump went against Hillary Clinton, the most previous election of this day. He went against Mike, his vice president was Mike Pence, and her vice president was Tim Kaine. Trump received 304 electoral votes, and Clinton received 227 electoral votes. And that is the end of the presidential elections in American history. We'll see you guys in the next video. Geography Lover, out.